So you're very welcome to the McNean Garden here and this is our restaurant and this is our lovely gardens. I'm going to show you a lovely recipe and it's salmon and asparagus wraps. So it's a recipe you can make ahead and keep in your fridge, cooking in the barbecue. I'm going to show you a lovely dressing. So we'll talk about the salmon um, and we're going to wrap it put on the barbecue, cook it and make a little dressing. So it's really, really simple. So this is the fresh organic Irish salmon, darns. So darren means that there's no bones. The skin is on it, which is perfect. This is two of them I've just removed. So this is part of the Simply Better collection. We're going to put these lovely asparagus. So this is the season for asparagus. So all we've done is just literally, literally cook these for a minute. So they're not raw, but they're just blanched off. So you can steam them and then put them into cold water and then refresh them. So that keeps them nice and kind of crisp and really, really um, nice and firm to the bite. We're gonna wrap them in this really, I love this Parma ham. You can use the Serrano ham. So this is part of the Simply Better collection here. So I had the pleasure and privilege of meeting this producer in Parma. So we're going to wrap this. So it's kind of like a surf and turf. So I'll show you the technique of this. Bring your salmon to room temperature. Now you can have this made ahead in the fridge, but always bring it to room temperature. We'll just do one first of all. So we're gonna use our little pieces of the Parma ham, pop it onto the plate. I'm gonna put two of them, so it'll kind of give them a little bit of extra support. So just literally lift that out there and arrange that. It's a wee bit fiddly, but don't worry about that. It's all, all a bit of fun. So that your salmon goes on. So that's two little sheets and you can see how thin they are. So they're nice and thin. Get a couple of asparagus. So we have three nice asparagus spears like that, which are pre-cooked and they're blanched. And then we have, oh, this is a really good tip for you. You've seen me probably talking about this in lots of the recipes, but particularly it's warm today. We always get sun in Cavan. Uh, a little bit of damp tissue on your salads, herbs, anything like that. And this is some beautiful bronze fennel. So we're lucky, very lucky here. You've heard me talk about Kevin, our gardener in McNeans. He looks after that, he's just fabulous. So with the bronze fennel, or you can use dill, that goes on top of that. And then you wrap them. So just hold it all together. Simple as that. So we'll do one more. Have the barbecue nice and high, switched on, should I say. And then we're gonna pop these on. We'll just drizzle them with a tiny little bit of oil. So two sheets come out there, perfect for me that time. So that make sure that goes back into the fridge and keeping the skin on the salmon and them are lovely asparagus tips. Now you could do this with courgettes, you could do this with baby leeks, but it's a lovely recipe and salmon is always very, very popular. So just lift that up, wrap it. So we'll just get in nice and tight here, Mella. Roll that up and there you have it. It looks great. So a tiny little drizzle of oil. I'm gonna use a little bit of rapeseed oil and then this is gonna go on to our barbecue, which we preheated. So you can put a little bit of salt, but be careful the Parma ham because it is a cured ham. So with the barbecue, I have it on full heat. So what I'm gonna do is just literally roll it. See that there? I'm gonna, what we call presentation side. So just literally put, place that onto the barbecue. Okay, you want to get this nice and crispy. So hopefully it'll all work out. <laughs> and then I'm gonna wash my hands. So have the barbecue nice and high. That's really, really important for this recipe and then we turn it down so as we are cooking it you want to get it nice and golden brown and a nice little bit of texture and crunch so i'll just put the lid on that reduce the temperature a little bit i want to talk to you about my barbecue range part of my cookware collection so first of all these is a three-piece pack so you have your tongs there you have your little slider your fish uh, slider or burger slider the little serrated edge there just for testing if the meat is cooked can you see that there and then you have your fork so th this is great they're all sold individually or as a three-piece like that and then you can keep them beautiful in this barbecue roll and then you can wear this nice apron so for barbecues i think it's absolutely perfect so it is now let's have a little look at our salmon so this is a gas barbecue i'm using we just want to check it love all oh, that that's good that's nice yes Okay, well, turn it over. Beautiful, I love that. Okay, I'm gonna turn it down because I wanna make sure that it doesn't overcook. So I have it at half heat there. Keep the lid on it. The smell is gorgeous. I'm gonna show you a lovely dressing. So we're using these lovely grilled peppers. I'm a big fan of these. And they're stored, I'm gonna use the red one. And we're gonna use some of that beautiful oil. That's gonna go in there. One clove of garlic is going to go in. And then a couple of these sun-dried tomatoes and I'm going to use the oil again. So we're wasting nothing. So a little bit of sun-dried tomatoes in here. You can put in, if you wanted, tomato puree. I'm not, I'm going to put in some paprika. 
Now you can use different spices, simply better of a lovely harissa spice. You can put that in there, you can put some of the Cajun spice. I love the smokiness of this. So a nice little kind of like a good, a good kind of like a half a teaspoonful salt, a little bit of black pepper, and then we're gonna put in some lovely fresh basil. So just before I do the basil, we'll come back to the barbecue because I want to kind of get it nice and kind of brown and golden brown each side. That's cooking up lovely. And I love the way, I'll show you there, Mella. So you see, that's nice. You want that parma ham to be crispy and that's the key into this recipe. Okay, basil, a little bit of lemon, and then we just whiz this up. And I'm gonna put in some extra olive oil. I'm using some of the Simply Better extra virgin olive oil there. So you see the PGI logo. So we've used the oil that's been in the peppers and also the sun-dried tomatoes. So good drizzle of this here. Now, yeah. another bit more basil, and then a touch of lemon. You can use lime, I've both of them there. And just a little squeeze. That's all we need is just a tiny little squeeze. This is gonna give lovely freshness. This is great dressing, even with the likes of um, prawns, chicken, it works so well. Okay, blend this. Just let the food processor do all the work. It's a little bit noisy, sorry. I'm going to show you the consistency that looks good actually I don't want it too runny and I do want it too thick so we'll just put a little bit more of that beautiful oil so I'm using the oil from the sun-dried tomatoes yeah. and then I'm gonna play musical chairs that's me play it for serving I'm gonna show you this dressing so this dressing is, is really good because it keeps really well in the fridge um, and you can put it into bread, you can use it with pasta. I'm gonna show you the consistency. So there's a little bit of texture. Oh, I've got to say you can put in chili into it if you want to. Okay. That will separate when it goes into the fridge, probably overnight, what will happen, it'll firm up because of the, um, the olive oil. So remember I turned down the barbecue and that was really, really important. It's getting nice and brown now. And we're just gonna literally, with a pastry brush, so see that dressing, the is nice and close, gorgeous. So you can see the little bit of texture, we're just gonna brush this over the salmon. You can do this with chicken. If you're gonna do chicken, I think what's a nice way to do it is to uh, flatten it out. It's called a pallard and it works really, really well. So flip this over. So that's the brush side that I'm doing and I can smell that lovely tomatoes. Those peppers, they're gorgeous. And then brush this too. Now, so how do you check when your salmon is cooked? Usually when it's kind of a little bit firm in the center, it, it's cooked. So just be um, aware of that. You want to just have it cooked, but that it's not too raw. You can serve it slightly pink, so it's totally up to you. So I'm literally gonna flip this over. Oh, and now we're getting a nice bit of color. Lovely. Mm. And you can see it's beginning to caramelize, and that's from the peppers and the sun-dried tomatoes. So we're very nearly ready to serve up. Yeah, this feels firm. So Mel, if we just come in close and I'll just show you, just press it. And that feels nice and firm. You don't want to overcook it. I'll just switch the barbecue off now. Make sure of that done. Yeah. And then we'll serve it up. We're going to serve it with a little bit of salad. So remember the little tip with some tissue paper. And if it gets anywhere windy, <laughs> it blows everywhere. So these are some lovely salad leaves that we have. And Kevin, our gardener, grows them. A little bit of extra virgin olive oil. And then some of the Simply Better balsamic I love this this is the three-year-old balsamic here so just a tiny little drizzle and just drizzle just kind of dress your salad just at the last minute some edible flowers now it's far from edible flowers I was growing up in Reardon and we're using some beautiful edible flowers here but your nature is a beautiful thing and there we go we get a little bit of herb just to put in that the fennel and then we're going to bring this over Gonna put the two of them on the plate. I think one is enough, but I'm gonna show you the two of them. And we're gonna put some more dressing, close over that lid. And then some more of that lovely dressing. So see the way that's beginning to separate? And just literally drizzle that all over there. This is super quick. Everything can be made ahead. So say you were having your family or friends over for a barbecue, you could have everything ready to go. The key is those lovely organic Irish salmon. Uh, wrapped in that parma ham so it's like a surf and turf and there we go 
So that is my uh, salmon and asparagus wraps. I use bronze fennel, you can use dill with that lovely uh, pepper, sun-dried tomato dressing, and a nice salad with that. I think it's beautiful. So enjoy the good weather, enjoy the barbecue, and hopefully you'll enjoy using the barbecue tools. Thanks very much.